Well, I brought my dogs out today. Um, the creamy one is Banjo. I rescued him from a dog home. And Cindy, she's a beautiful Dalmatian. She was given to me um, about a year ago um, by some school teachers who couldn't take them with, um, with them. So I've taken them out for a drive today. I'm not going to um, take them with me. The old bottle dumps will be only around oh, 300 metres just over that direction. There's no way of taking my dogs over there because I'm just scared of them getting bitten by snakes and especially Banjo, he's very instinctive with smells, looking for you know noises and all that kind of stuff. So the last thing I want is my two beautiful dogs to be bitten by snakes. I'd rather myself get bitten than them. So you can stay here, Banjo. So I can use Cindy. Oh guys, I know what this pig piece of bloody corrugated iron is now it's an old homemade boat wonder if it worked it's throughout the lake so obviously the kids must have some fun back in the old days oh well it must have been dedicated but anyway I've moved that so let's hope there's no snakes there but let's hope there's nice bottles underneath that mulch or that grass and stuff so I'll give it a dig and we'll see. Well, I can see a couple of bottles here so far. Um, this one looks like to be an old pickle jar. Let's hope it's got a nice embossing on it. So I'll pick it up, see what it's going to be. Yes. Oh, that's a nice one. It's an old Sovereign brand pickle jar. Not really worth much, but still a beautiful bottle. So that's a great How find. Happy about that. What's this one? Oh, nothing special. An old poison bottle, no embossing. Anyway, just got to be careful of snakes as I say, great hiding spot for them, especially where that tin's been laying against that, you can see where it's, the grass is still nice and green so it's been hidden away from the wet weather, great spot for snakes to hibernate. Anyway, I'll rake away this stuff and see what we can find, hopefully some more embossed bottles. No embossing. It's an old pick me up sauce bottle, nothing special, but it's still embossed, but I won't keep it. Got plenty of those. Oh, something looks promising in there. Broken. Oh, what's this one? No. Oh, yes. That looks good, guys. I can see a nice old. Look at that. That's a nice one. It's an old one. Yes, it's like that original. It's like that original Holbrooks one what I showed you on my first video. What's been, what was broken, but this one's in good condition. So that's great. That's a great find. Happy about that. I'm doing well so far. Gotta be careful of the snakes. It's another old Clement's tonic bottle. Oh yes, you beauty, that's beautiful. Well, I haven't got one of these. That's a great find. That's beautiful. You, as we say in Australia, you fucking beauty, that's great. Beautiful, Golden West, look at that, beautiful. I've never, I've got 
big bottles like this, but I've never ever seen one like this before. Probably not worth much. I don't know what it's going to be worth, but that's a great find. That is, that's made my day. That's beautiful. Really happy, guys. No, Australian jam bottle. Got plenty of those. But lifting up this tin over what I just did is a good sign because there's always a good sign there's going to be more bottles underneath. I just turned the video off, guys. But anyway, while I turned it off, I found this another nice pickle jar. Um, it says London Gillard just on the top there. So I haven't got one of these, but that's a nice bottle. Really happy about that one. And just another little um, poison bottle or something like that. No, no embossing, but a nice little bottle. So I'll keep going. It's bloody hot and the mozzies are pissing me off. And, and the flies. I might be thinking about my dogs, but they're okay. I park my car in the shade and they've got a bucket full of nice cold water there for them. My rake thing keeps on breaking, but anyway, that's all right. Just there, what's this? Come on, what's it gonna be? Oh yes, no, it's broken. Oh, it would have been a nice bottle. It's always good to find these undisturbed bottle dumps. So hard to find them around this area. I've found plenty of these ones. These are nice little, um, nice little, what are they called? Morse India root pills. i found quite a few of these here. They're only worth a couple of dollars each, but a beautiful little pill jar, or sorry, beautiful little pill bottle. Probably found about 20 or 30 of these so far, but that's, they're great. I love those. Beautiful bottle, especially with the nice embossing on it like that. Good boy, Banjo. Good boy. 